an important benefit for all women who cook, bake, and roast. A superior kind of strong, pure aluminum foil. The only foil that's quilted for better baking and roasting. It's Kaiser cooking foil in the new decorator package. When you bake with Kaiser cooking foil, even sticky caramel rolls, quilts raise the food, help to prevent sticking. See, no stick and no messy pan to clean. When you roast with Kaiser cooking foil, quilts keep the meat from drying out, trap moisture, hold in the vitamin-rich juices. Result, tastier, more tender meat. So for better roasting and baking, use Kaiser cooking foil. The cooking foil, because it's the only one that's quilted. Now at your grocer's. Cost no more than ordinary wrap. In the new lovely to look at package. Hello folks. It is June 19th, 2019. We were at the Kaiser Meat Facility. I'm doing kind of a comparison video of the jobs analysis video that I have on VHS. I'm going to do the exact same pan scenes that he does in the video to kind of give you guys a comparison and I'm going to put the videos together on in this YouTube video I'm making and you'll be able to see the difference in the buildings. October 19th of 1994, we were at Kaiser Mead plant located in Spokane, Washington to complete job analysis. Should you have any questions regarding these job analysis, please feel free to contact our offices at area code 509-328-1880. These job analysis are being completed by Alan L. Stacy, Senior Vocational Consultant for Star Rehabilitation Services. This is the inside of the clock house. He didn't show this view in the video, but he is, did show the inside, which I'll get a very good video of the control panel. He's standing right here in the video. The guard was standing right there, reading a paper. There was... If in the video you can watch, you can see employees walking through there. Like I said, there was a vending machine over there. At the t in the video, this window wasn't broken out, and you can see tons of employees walking to and from shift. Just all the cool stuff. Pretty cool to see it. And I actually know what it looked like. for the position of security guard, which involves some first responder uh, duties. This is the clock house at the front of Kaiser Mead. This is approximately 300 yards from the uh, parking areas. Guards in this area may be required to respond to fire emergency situations carrying fire extinguishers weighing 35 to 40 pounds office area from the guardhouse as you can see guards have video monitors to watch so you have to keep an eye on delivery vehicles coming in and out of the area verify that all the authorized personnel get in and out of the gate structures there's a sign and book they monitor provide uh, hard hats and safety glasses for uh, visiting personnel. The clock house is the entry point for all the Kaiser employees. So at the main entrance of the Kaiser Mead facility plant, that is the clock house right there. 
as stated. And then over here, this would have been the main office buildings for the big guys, big wigs, CEO or president of Kaiser Mead at the time. By the way, just so you guys know, I am not trespassing. I have full permission from the owner to do these videos. I wouldn't want to risk my own being and getting in trouble by doing this stuff. So, Right here was the plant engineering building. So, you know, um, if they needed to update equipment, blueprints, archives of videos, what have you. I didn't bring my light today, unfortunately, so I don't know how well you guys are going to be able to see in here, but we will definitely uh, get a quick tour here. Must have been like the office manager or the building office clerk's office. Lots of vintage technology. Useless today, but back when this place was open. Brand new at the time. Servers and stuff like that, it looks like. Zenith TV. Blueprints. Not a lot in here. I mean, it's pretty well cleared out. Probably a lot of people stole a lot of stuff, but still kind of cool, kind of creepy. Luckily, this building is not filled with mold. The main office building I'm going to get here in a bit to add to this video. Honestly, guys, I should have a respirator to go in there. It's probably not safe, but it is what it is. Old copier. Can't really nothing going on in here. calendar's lunchbox and an old gross real lemon juice of course the normal tweaker is getting in to strip the copper Ah, there was building 38 is what it was. You know, this could have been a salvageable building if they hadn't come in and stripped the whole thing down. A lot of nothing. Bathroom. Wow, 
obviously men's bathrooms. Ooh, all the soap fell out. That's nasty looking. I thought it was like some kind of blood or something. I'm doing a pretty extensive view. I want to get a good video of this because these buildings are coming down. This will be the first set of buildings to be torn down. I mean, they're just unsalvageable, like I said, and I kind of want to get documentation of them, why they're here, especially with the video I have, like I said, that kind of shows these buildings when they were nice, not new, but nice. Oh, this is pretty cool. I recognize this now that I've been in here, but this was the training room in one of the videos I posted as well, where they did all the training for jobs and safety meetings and what have you. If you can get that all, it's not focusing right. That's going to wrap up this building. I will continue this video into the main offices. This is plants, the plant safety building and medical facility. As you can see, very well grown over. They haven't took care of this property since probably 2001. Do a full walk around here. This is one of the back parking lots. That building is the one we were just in. Hey. 
right, here we go. Building 42, Employ Employment Insurance Safety. Hot day out. Surprisingly, these buildings are nice and cool. It's nice, honestly. Files and records. You know, in this place, they left everything, so. Well, it seems pretty empty. Technology, old computers, just useless stuff. I wish I had my camera light. I really can't believe I forgot that. Here's a cool old pop machine, guys. I mean, it even has old cans in it. Kind of hard to see them, but I'll pick up one off the ground. Here's one of the cans. Let's see if I can get it to zoom here. Thought that was pretty cool. Even this old spick and span box. <clears throat> wow, someone just tore that door off. Ceiling tiles falling in. Sorry about the zoom. This thing is just not zooming correctly. Pretty dark, not gonna be able to see anything in there. Now back here is the medical office. It's pretty dark as well. Again, don't know how much you guys are gonna be able to see, but We'll uh, do the best we can here. One of the medical rooms. And they even stripped the switch out. I mean, that's how much they want the copper. Can't see anything in there. Can't see anything in here. Here's what is. I'm assuming chemical emergency wash showers. Again, another bed. Medical supplies cabinet. A pillow that says property of Kaiser Mead. blood pressure tester. Yeah, that's about it. Super old magazines.
And that about wraps up this building. Again, not a lot to see in, this, in these buildings. Most are mold infested and were emptied out pretty well by scrappers and what have you. Let's take a look through the window in the front of this building. This goes right to the street, so. And guys, that about wraps up the uh, Kaiser Mead Works front office building tour. I will splice in some old footage as well as new footage to kind of, again, show comparisons of different areas. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for more content, new content. And have a great rest of your day. What's the nation's new favorite? What's the car all America loves to drive? What's America's number one buy? It's the thrilling new 52 Henry J. Corsair. Let's go, Bob. Today's my day to break 80. I see we're taking the Henry J. You bet. I'm going to leave the gas heater in the garage. Besides, the Henry J's more fun to drive. And to tell the truth, this ride circles around the other car. Yes, owners say their new Henry J rides better than cars costing twice the price. Even on the roughest roads, the new Henry J zips along thanks to new velvet road springing that soaks up the bounce and gives you a wonderfully smooth and steady ride. Yet it costs less to buy, less to drive, less to maintain. No wonder the Henry J is America's new favorite. Yes, this is the car that belongs in your garage today. The new 52 Henry J.